The ingredients you'll need is one package of salted codfish, three cups of flour, four and a half cups of water, a half a teaspoon of garlic paste, two teaspoons of cilantro, and one package of sazon. Add your fish into a pot. Make sure the pot is deep enough so you can cover the fish with water. You're gonna boil the salt out of the fish for 50 minutes. Once you're done boiling the fish, drain the water out and add more water to boil again for another 50 minutes. Sometimes you might even have to repeat this step three times depending on how salty the water is. If you taste the water that the fish is boiling in and taste it's too salty for you to handle, you might have to boil the salt out again. Add three cups of flour to a large bowl. Add one cup of water to your flour and stir until the water is mixed in. After that, slowly add your other cups of water. Try and mash out any of the pockets of flour left in your batter. You're looking for a crepe batter texture. Add your garlic paste and mix well. If you don't have garlic paste, you can substitute with garlic powder. Add your cilantro to your batter. Mix well. You can add just 2 teaspoons of cilantro, but if you really like cilantro, you can add more. After mixing in your cilantro, you can slowly mix in your one package of sazon. Sazon is cilantro mixed with achote in a powder form. This is to add some flavor, but mainly color. Once you're done making your batter, you're going to add water to your fish and shred up the meat. This is to make sure a good amount of the salt is out. You're going to drain the fish again and make sure all the water is out. Add your shredded fish to the batter. On top of your stove, prepare a medium sized pan. Make sure there's a little bit of oil to cover the bottom of the pan. Not too much. You want to fry the bacalaitos, not drown them. Make sure the oil is hot before adding any batter. Fill the spoon with some batter. Make sure each spoonful has some fish in it. Depending on the size of how you like your bacalaitos, make them small for a crunchier texture or larger for them to be chewier. It's hard to tell when they are cooked to perfection. It takes time to visually see how they should look like since sazon adds an orange color which fools you into thinking it's cooked to a golden brown. Bacalaitos are more of a fried snack, used for parties, or eating them with some white rice. Enjoy!